Hey guys, it's Fonzie with Dip Your Car. Now because all of our Dip Your Car products are so DIY friendly or do-it-yourself friendly, there's going to be some challenges that you can run into as you go. And one of the most important things that we can do is help educate you guys on how to attack and overcome those challenges. Today we are talking about blushing. First I'm going to show you what blushing looks like, then I'll tell you how it comes into play, how to avoid it, and most importantly, a good way to fix it. Enjoy the video. Okay, we've got a test hood over here. We've got shadow black down on it. Now take a look at this hood and tell me if you've ever seen this before. As you can see, shadow black is normally a dark, rich, high sheen black, but you can easily see these really cloudy gray areas. Now this is blushing. And obviously, you don't want blushing on your car. So the technique we're going to be using today is going to utilize this right here. This is naphtha. This is a thinner. This is a solvent. And what we're going to be doing today is called a naphtha bath. Now if you've been in the DYC community for a while, you've heard the term naphtha bath before. But there's a lot of things that are attached to the idea or the concept of a naphtha bath. Some of them are accurate and in my opinion some of them are simply not. So what are some of the concepts attached to a naphtha bath that in my opinion are not accurate? Well you'll hear people say, oh if you got a lot of texture on the car just give it a naphtha bath and it'll smooth it all out like glass. No, it doesn't. And in my opinion if you've got a lot of texture on the car, you sprayed it from too far away, you're going way too fast, there's really nothing that you can do to smooth that out the way you want it to. You can dump as much naphtha on top of that car as you want to. It's not going to level all that texture down to be smooth. It may or may not help a little bit, but in my opinion, it's not worth the trouble. However, can a naphtha bath help you fix blushing? Absolutely. In most conditions it can. So you can buy these quarts of naphtha on dipyourcar.com or you can get them at a lot of different hardware parts stores. I don't care where you get it as long as you're able to fix your car and get it looking the way you want it to. So again, we're going to talk about how to avoid blushing in a little bit, but right now we want to fix it. So we've got this hood, we've got some real nasty areas of blushing on it. So what we're going to do is we've got our DYC sprayer here and we're going to fill up that sprayer cup with naphtha and we're going to give the hood a light but wet coat of naphtha. Now you don't want to go too heavy too fast because there's no solids in naphtha at all. It's just a solvent. So it will absolutely run if you drench the car with it and we're not going to do that. We're going to give it a nice light but wet coat of naphtha. We're going to let that fully flash out and dry and see how well it does at clearing up that blushing. We've given it about 20 minutes or so to dry. Let's see how we did. Now as you can see after that one naphtha bath or that one nice wet coat of naphtha, all of that blushing is cleared up. It usually only takes one coat if you do it correctly. Worst case is you have to do it twice but if you apply it evenly, it'll only take that one coat. This is what shadow black should look like. Nice and even, rich black sheen. 
So now that we know how to fix blushing, let's talk about how to avoid it in the first place. Now, like I said in the beginning, blushing really comes into play either when there's a high humidity condition that you're dipping in or when there's a change in temperature or humidity while a coat of dip is drying. Now, if you're dipping in high humidity conditions like we do down here in South Florida all the time, it's really important that when you're putting your coats down on the car, of course you wanna have those, those wet overlapping passes to get a smooth finish, but don't go too wet, too heavy. Sometimes I'll see people, they pull up the product really, really heavy and thick, and that right there is a recipe for blushing. So nice, even overlapping passes should help you avoid it in high humidity conditions. But you can still get blushing in normal humidity, and normally what's gonna happen there is there's gonna be a difference in temperature or humidity introduced while a coat of dip is still drying. So you always wanna have adequate ventilation, of course, when you're dipping. But what you might do is you may spray a coat on your car and then you may open a door that lets a whole bunch of air conditioning rush in or you open a door and a bunch of humid, humid air from outside rushes in and that change, that fluctuation can cause that blushing. So you wanna to try to avoid that as well. Now one thing to keep in mind, if you're dipping your car, you're two, three, four coats in and you have more coats to go, and you see blushing on your car, you don't have to do a naphtha bath because the next coat, if properly applied, will clear that blushing right up. And the only time a naphtha bath comes into play is when you finish your project. You have you used everything in your car kit, you have no dip left, and you've got blushing on the hood or blushing on the door, and you've got no more product left. That's when you use a naphtha bath to clear it up. But if you're still putting more coats on the car, there's more coats to go, don't worry about a naphtha bath, it'll clear up with your next coat. But it is definitely always handy to have some naphtha on hand as a dipper. Now, if you guys wanna dip your car, if you have any questions at all, you guys know what to do. Chat with us directly on dipyourcar.com or even better, call in, because we love to talk to you guys about your projects. I hope this helps you guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. It's Fonzie, I will see you in the next video.